Under the cloak of darkness, we never know what's lurking in the shadows. Here we bring you the 19 scariest places to spend the night, if you dare. Number 19, the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles, California. The site of a number of suicides and at least three murders, the Cecil Hotel has its fair share of paranormal activity. The most curious death was that of Elisa Lam. In 2013, the young Canadian tourist was found inside the sealed water tank on the roof after guests began complaining about a strange taste in the water. Security footage revealed that before her death, she seemed frantic and was exhibiting strange behavior. It was never solved. In the 90s, 1980s, Richard Ramirez, a serial killer, also stayed at the hotel. He slept during the day and left to terrorize the city at night. Guests have reported strange noises and sightings of apparitions. Some say that a negative energy permeates the property. Still open for business, guests can stay in this cursed hotel if they dare. Number 18. Borgvenek Vicarage in Borgvenek, Sweden. Beginning in 1876, the Borgvenek Vicarage offered shelter for religious officials. In 1927, one of the residents walked up to the attic to take down his dry clothes. Imagine his surprise when an invisible force was ripping his clothes off the clothesline. Since then, there's been numerous reports of paranormal activity there, with the explanations ranging from babies buried in the backyard, abused maids, to ghosts of old vicars haunting the house. In the 1980s, Tor Forsland, a priest known for exercising feigned spirits, performed several exorcisms on the house with no success. The vicarage is now a bed and breakfast and guests receive a special certificate for being brave enough to spend the night. Number 17. The Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana. In 1796, General David Bradford built the Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana. It was later owned by Mark and Sarah Woodruff, who were slave owners. It's rumored that one of the slaves, Chloe, still haunts the property for the unfair treatment she was given by her masters. When she was caught eavesdropping, the Woodruffs cut off her ear. As an act of revenge, she poisoned a cake that killed two of the Woodruffs' daughters, whose spirits have also been spotted around the property. She was hung by fellow slaves and her body thrown into the Mississippi River. The site of at least 10 other murders, guests have reported seeing ghosts and hearing voices. It's now a bed and breakfast and considered to be one of the most haunted places in the United States. Number 16, Morse Mill Hotel in Jefferson County, Missouri. Originally built in 1816 as a farmhouse, the property was converted into the Morse Mill Hotel in 1856. It provided accommodation for a number of international travelers and infamous guests, including gangster Al Capone and one of the first female serial killers, Bertha Gifford. Abundant with paranormal activity, guests have reported hearing footsteps and feeling people touched them. Apparitions also appear in photos and sometimes cell phones and electronics stop working for the duration of the stay. The activity is so strong that these ghosts come out during the day just as much as at night. Number 15. Monte Cristo Homestead in Juni, Australia the Monte Cristo homestead was built by the Crawley family in 1885 and remained in their possession until 1948. It's said that many terrible crimes happened here throughout the years and therefore it's earned its reputation as Australia's most haunted house. Stories range from a baby being thrown down the stairs, a stable boy being burned alive and a mentally disabled man being tied up for 30 years. Visitors often report feeling sick or a cold wind or unexplainable pressure on their bodies. Number 14. The Velisca Axe Murder House in Velisca, Iowa on the fateful night of June 10, 1912, the Moore family were hacked to death by an axe murderer. The victims included two adults and six children, two of which were overnight guests. The murder was never solved and shook the small town of Velisca, turning once friendly neighbors against each other. Guests can take both daytime and night tours to explore the original home where this bloody murder took place. Extra brave guests can even rent out the home and sleep in the same room where this family took their last breath. 
Number 13. Banff Springs Hotel in Alberta, Canada Originally built as a railway hotel in the 19th century, the Banff Springs Hotel has a tragic history that still haunts it to this day. The ghost of a young woman in a wedding dress is often seen dancing in the ballroom. Rumor has it that she was to be married on the property when her dress caught fire. In a panic, she fell down the stairs and broke her neck. Never making it to her wedding, in room 873, a family was murdered. The room was later blocked off after guests began reporting strange activity. Number 12. Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Built in 1829, the Eastern State Penitentiary was a lonely and dim place for its prisoners. With a solitary confinement system, prisoners did everything alone. When they left their cells, their faces were covered, which precluded other prisoners seeing who they were and prevented them from seeing others, making them essentially invisible. Between 1913 and 1970, the solitary system was abolished due to overcrowding, but the treatment of prisoners didn't get any better. During overnight paranormal tours offered, visitors have reported hearing laughter and footsteps as well as seeing shadows, perhaps from the tortured souls that took their last breath here. Number 11. The Shanley Hotel in Ulster County, New York The Shanley Hotel is plagued with old stories of murders and covered up deaths. With a hidden basement room and what used to be a bordillo on the property, the hotel has no shortage of mystery and scandal. Activities been reported during the day and at night and ranges from rocking chairs moving, hot and cold spots, weird smells, to piano music and moving objects. Number 10. Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky Waverly Hills Sanatorium opened in 1926 for the treatment of tuberculosis patients. The hospital could accommodate over 400 patients and was so large that it had its own zip code. It was a self-contained community designed to keep the infected away from the uninfected. Many souls died on the property, leading to its closure in 1961. Overnight tours are now offered between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. where visitors can mingle with the ghosts of the original inhabitants. Number 9. The Ancient Ram Inn in Wooten on the Edge, United Kingdom The Ancient Ram Inn was built on a pagan burial ground in 1145, believed to have been the site of ancient child sacrifice. The inn is surrounded by a dark energy. Some guests have even reported being pushed down onto the bed by an incubus, also known as a male sex demon. In other instance, guests have seen furniture flying around the room and little girls roam in the halls. In total, the hotel is known to have around 20 different ghosts. Some are harmless spirits, while others aren't so friendly. Number 8. Chateau de Brissac in Loire Valley, France Built in the 11th century, the Chateau de Brissac has an interesting and lengthy history. Now a bed and breakfast, guests can spend the night encountering the castle's resident ghosts. The most famous is the Green Lady. Her name was Charlotte, and she was rumored to be the illegitimate daughter of King Charles VII and one of his mistresses. She was murdered on the property and is often seen roaming around. Although she's reported to be harmless, her appearance is terrifying, with black holes where her eyes and nose should be. Many think it's a reflection of how she was treated during her lifetime. Number 7. The Lizzie Borden Bed and Breakfast in Fall River, Massachusetts In 1892, Andrew Borden and his wife Abby were brutally murdered with an axe in their home in Fall River, Massachusetts. While the murder was never solved, Andrew Borden's daughter, Lizzie, was the main suspect because she had a financial motive for killing her father and stepmother. Today, guests can stay in the exact rooms where the family was murdered. The gift shop sells memorabilia of the crime and guests have reported experiencing paranormal activities, perhaps from the unavenged victims or the ghosts of Lizzie Borden. Number 6. The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado As the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining, it should come as it's no surprise that the Stanley Hotel is known for having dead guests along with the living ones. The owners insist that while there are numerous spirits in the hotel, none of them have an evil nature. Some rooms are more haunted than others. An old housekeeper reportedly haunts room 217, putting herself between any unmarried guests keen on getting intimate in her room. The fourth floor features the most activity where the playful spirits of children can be heard laughing and running 
Wyoming and the spirit of a friendly cowboy has been reported numerous times. Number 5. Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in Western West Virginia In the 1800s, the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum opened with room for 250 patients and the best of intentions. By the 1950s, it had over 2,400 patients. And as a result, its conditions significantly worsened. Doctors reportedly performed sadistic and inhumane medical treatments on patients and threatened anyone who dared speak out. Hundreds of patients died within this building Brave visitors can take an overnight tour where they're likely to hear voices or see haunted spirits roaming the halls. Number 4. The Queen Mary in Long Beach, California The Queen Mary is a floating hotel, but back in her glory days, she was an ocean liner that made frequent trips across the Atlantic Ocean for upper-class passengers. Several deaths occurred on the ship, including a sailor who died in a ship's engine room and a number of children who drowned in the ship's pool. Ghosts can be seen wandering the ship. Room B340 is so haunted that it's completely closed off to guests. Number 3. The Island of Poviglia in Poviglia, Italy The island of Poviglia was a peaceful community that managed to escape war and other tragedies, but in 1348, the bubonic plague reached the island and it became a self-contained community. People from Venice who contracted the plague were sent here in order to avoid affecting others on the mainland, essentially sentencing them to death. In the 1800s, an insane asylum opened on the island. Rumor has it that a doctor here performed sadistic medical experiments on the patients until eventually going insane himself and jumping from the bell tower. The island's been completely abandoned and no locals dare go near it for fear of being cursed. It's said that visitors can still hear the suffering of the trapped souls. Number 2. Aikogara Forest In Mount Fuji, Japan, Aikogara Forest, aptly named Suicide Forest, is one of the most popular places in the world to commit suicide, second only to the Golden Gate bridge. Since the 1950s, anywhere between 10 and 105 suicides happen here per year, with the number steadily increasing. Japanese spiritualists claim that the amount of death has led to increased paranormal activity, and some who enter are never able to find their way out. Mixed with the volcanic landscape that often renders compasses useless, it can be a terrifying situation. Brave travelers can pitch a tent in this forest and try and make it through the night night. Number 1. The Catacombs of Paris, France Around 7 million Parisians are buried in the mysterious Paris catacombs. They were originally created as a solution to overcrowded in cemeteries, but stories of evil and sadistic things happening in these dark tunnels are abundant. It's also rumored that some visitors who enter never find their way out, getting trapped in maze-like tunnels with voices pulling them further along. It's also said that cultists perform evil rituals rituals with corpses and sacrificial murders within the tunnels, with bones lying in the walls and death in all directions, it's no surprise that some spirits still walk the tunnels as well. Hey guys, it's Angelo Cruz of this channel. I wanted to let you all know I've set up a Patreon account where I'll be offering very exciting and very exclusive bonus footage available only to people on Patreon. There your voice will be heard regarding things you want to see and which direction I take my channel. Click on the end screen here to find out more or on the link in the description below. Thanks guys and I hope to see you on Patreon soon.